how has no one played this Quest 2 VR game? When I got an email from the developer, I immediately started searching for videos of the game, and well, despite the name also sharing its name with a somewhat popular children's Lego channel, there wasn't anything to be found other than the video by the developers themselves. I was hesitant at first. I wasn't sure if I wanted to do a video on this, but then I stopped. I watched the video by the developer, and I saw the big P. No, 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 not that. I saw potential. Potential. Okay, so enough stalling. Before I reveal the game, I want you to keep an open mind and watch the end, alright? You'll be glad you did. Ah, 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 wait, please, please wait. I know what this looks like. It looks like another block game clone, but I assure you it's not. Master Builder has a lot more going for it than the outward appearance might seem. I had so much fun playing this game, it costed me hours of sitting through b-roll footage to record this, because I lost track of time. And now my solid state drives hate me. Part of me wanted to cover all the ins and outs of the game, but if I'm being honest, half the joy of the game is discovering things for yourself and wondering, hey, can I do that? And in my experience, the answer is often yes. I don't have any enemies to fight, what am I gonna do with this? Oh. Oh. <laughs> I see. <laughs> While the game's title might lead you to believe that this is a building game, that is not how I played it at all. I suck at building. I don't really enjoy it, and I still had a blast playing Master Builder, hardly building anything at all. As you can see in the background right now, I am trying to see if I can make it to one of the hidden items in the game using only two blocks. After several close falls and five minutes later, I had achieved my goal and claimed my prize. Now for some of the things that I didn't like. And while many of these things can be remedied by the artifacts, the powerful tools that make the game easier, Getting to the point of getting those items takes a lot of tedious setup. I was not a fan of my limited inventory size. Grabbing only a handful of blocks at a time and running back and forth to my build site was not my idea of fun. There is a bit of a lack of variety in the artifacts as well. The first three artifacts I found were uh, all used to break stuff. And given the limited inventory size, I ended up tossing two of them on the ground near the uh, item container and forgetting about them entirely. Right now, there appears to be a limited number of blocks in the game, but from my understanding, this game is still early and the devs have a lot of big things in the works. So I'll have to wait and see on that one. This game is most definitely a sandbox type of game at the moment, and while the survival mode is planned, the game boils down to interacting with the world around you in strange and interesting ways, discovering things you had not even thought of, opening new possibilities, and of course, building. If I didn't suck at building, here's where I put a montage of my cool builds. I know some cool stuff could be built, if I had the talent or a skill to, so instead you're seeing an overview of the world I destroyed. So, uh, yeah, if this looks like your kind of thing, there's a link to the game in the description. Honestly, I believe this project will be big one day given the proper care and attention it deserves. While it seems limited right now, I could definitely see big things for this. But uh, if you've made it this far and uh, you haven't clicked off yet, why not consider dropping a like? And if you're not subscribed already, hit that too. So uh, thanks for watching.